a notebook, grab a pen. Here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Boom! That's the hair flip for the ages. What's up, Claire, Ryan? Teachers, yes! You guys ready for this? I know they are, I know they are. I hope you are too. What's up, y'all? Today, 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 how about this one? We have the students, and look who's facing them. We have the teachers from Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Pendergrass Catholic High School in Delaware County. Hey, they just entered the classroom that should let students try to prove that they are smarter than their teachers. Easier said than done. Hey, the best schools, they always have amazing spirit sections. Look at this, guys. The audience is pumped and ready today. Yes. What's on the line? Well, I'll tell you this, $500 cash and bragging rights for eternity. Before we meet our contestants, I wanna see who studied. I'm the teacher today and I'm calling a pop quiz. Well, we are officially off, guys. Grab your buzzers, you're gonna need them here. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer you get will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. But if you get the question wrong, your team is officially locked out. The other side's gonna have a chance to jump in, steal those points if they know it. Pop quiz starts right now. Seven multiplied by 12 equals what? Who'd you? 84. 84. Who was the first African-American citizen to hold a high U.S. government rank? Claire. Frederick Douglass. Nicely done, Claire. In the show, How I Met Your Mother, what was Ted's profession before he became a professor? Claire again. An architect. An architect. One of your favorite shows, I can tell. <laughs> Which Italian city is famous for its canals? Ryan. Venice. Venice. Students are on a 40-point tear here. What is the name of the units of power used to measure electricity? Claire again. Watts. Watts or kilowatts. In the gaming world, Pokemon is actually an abbreviation for what? And we stumped them. <laughs> Looking for Pocket Monster, guys. Pocket Monster. How about fun, the fun facts we find out? Which state is home to several of the tallest mountains in the U.S., including Denali, once called Mount McKinley? There he is, Dr. St. Clair. Washington State. For the steal. Puja. Nevada? We are looking for Alaska, guys, was the correct answer there. Good try. On what date is Earth Day celebrated? Puja. April 22nd. April 22nd, students, 60 points. Sarah Thomas was the first female referee to officiate a playoff game in what professional sports league? Mrs. Farron. Basketball. That was a good guess. Students for the steal. Claire. Um, football. Be more specific. Uh, the NFL. There it is. That's the specific. She gets it in under the buzzer. She was football. How about it? Yeah, the NFL. Good for her. How about this? I cannot believe it. Students, 70 points on the fire. <laughs> Teachers. Actually, we didn't plug your buzzers in. Now's a good time to tell you that. No points there, guys, but there's still plenty of game left. And I think we should just continue this one because someone needs to go to detention. I think it might be you guys. <laughs> Well, maybe detention will cool these guys down a little bit. Students are on a tear here, so we'll see how you do. Team's gonna put your buzzers down. You're not gonna need them here. This is how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. You're gonna have 10 seconds to decide whether you wanna play or if you wanna pass. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. You pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. Hey, you guys, get everybody into detention. We're gonna give you 40 points. So teachers, we can get you guys crawled right back into this one. And now we're playing, so let's do it. Teachers, you are behind, so I'm gonna give you guys the first category. Team captain, Miss Bose, you guys can talk about it. How do you feel about history? Uh, <laughs> the one subject. Do you want to do it? They're good at it, so it's up to you. 
Fun fact, we have a math teacher, a chemistry teacher, a counselor. We'll keep it. We'll try. But no history. We'll see how you guys do here. Literally the one category when I said, how are you guys? I said, no history today. And here you go. Which Civil War battle is the deadliest one-day battle in all American military history? They come together. Chemistry, math, and a counselor. Can they get the history, though? The Battle of Gettysburg? <laughs> Incorrect. We were looking for Antietam is the right word there. Antietam was the battle. Students, how about it? That must feel good. Yeah. You guys don't have to do anything, and you get to send a teacher to detention. Yeah. Uh, Dr. St. Clair. Dr. St. <laughs> Clair. Let's get him out of there. First year teacher, let's give him a big round. He looks sad headed there. Dr. St. Clair, be honest. Is this your first ever detention? In quite a while. <laughs> All right, there it is. That's good honesty right there. We appreciate it. Okay, students, here we go. You guys are up. Let's see how you do here. Category, you can pass or play on literature. Mm -hmm. You can just play. Yeah, just play. We'll play. You're going to play? Love that. Here you go. Mary Lennox is the name of the main character in what book by Francis Hodgson Burnett? They're whispering, I have no idea, do you? Nope, I also have no idea. Let's see how they do here. Need an answer, guys? The Hunger Games. <laughs> Good guess, but the secret garden. The secret garden was the correct answer. So back to back, incorrect. Teachers, you guys didn't have to do a thing and you get to send a student to detention. Big one for you guys here, who you sending? Pooja. Pooja out of the line there. Okay, out of the game, 11th grader, she's awesome. And we move on to you guys with your category of math. Play. Play. As you point to the math teacher, play. here we go. In the equation, 5x minus 2 equals 8. Which part is the variable? X. X. X is right. OK. Nicely done, guys. Go ahead, be quiet. And now the fun I'm starts sorry, because fun. one student is left, but one has to go to detention. Who's that going to be? Sending Claire. Claire out of the game, leaving our captain, Ryan, <laughs> in the mix. OK, Ryan, you're a big time soccer star. You love to play sports. Oh. This is your moment, all right? Your penalty kick, you got to get it down here. Categories, movies. I'll play. Here we go. What is the first and last name of the actor who has portrayed James Bond in movies since 2006? One second. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> He's the king of good guesses. Daniel Craig is the answer. You, sir, are going to detention. Dr. St. Clair, you're officially released. And how about this? Teachers, 40 big points on the board. Don't go anywhere. 40 points over here, 70 over here. Some of our contestants are going to study hall when we come back. How about that win? Was it all right over there? Wasn't too bad? All right, you did it. It felt good, right? Like old times. Right back. Well, call me excited. Welcome back to the classroom. On the show today, the students and teachers from Bonner and Prendy in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, home of the Friars and the cute pandas. Let's meet our teams. Let's go to Ryan. Ryan, your team captain today. $500 if the students win. Where's that going to go? Oh, we're going to give it to Feed My Starving Children. Oh, perfect place to put it. And it's a foundation that helps feed malnourished children around the world. Dude, that's a great spot to put it. Love that. That could go a long way for them. He's an 11th grader. You're a soccer star, and I'm calling it going rogue. Yep. <laughs> What's um, that about? Um, this year, I started training to be the kicker for the football team next year. All right, the next Pat McAfee? Yep. <laughs> All right, man, good luck. All right, Claire, good to see you, 11th grader. Uh, you're also training to be something next year. She's the team captain of what? What are we talking? Um, Q, which is an academic quiz competition. That's why you were so good at this? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you've been practicing for years. Yeah. Pooja, good to see you as well, 11th grader. Uh, guys, I hate to say this, but she loves to argue. <laughs> What's that about? Um, I started mock trial my sophomore year, and next year I'm going to be the president. Yes, that's pretty. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. You got big, big news right here, and that's you got to win. You got to beat these teachers. Yeah. 
Good luck today, guys. Combined team, I love them. And then how about these, the teachers that are making it all happen. Miss Bo's good to see you at 500 on the line. You're a counselor. Where's that money going? We are going to play for our Beach Blast Scholarship Fund today to help students come to our school. Awesome. That's yep. a great place for the money to go to, and the beach is cool as well. I mean, come on. It's summertime. <laughs> All right, that. so you combine. This whole school, com just tell me about this. One big happy family of Bonner Prendy. We get two for the price of one, kind of, um, and two schools twice as smart. So. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> this goes good luck. For Mrs. Sure. Farron, math teacher, you're a star already, guys. She's kind of known around her, her school, right? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we do the morning announcements, although I'm usually behind the camera and not on the camera. How does so. it feel to be in front? Still out there. I'll tell you what, you got a face for it, so keep it up. And Dr. St. Clair, chemistry teacher, I can't believe this. You just started teaching. Like, like I'm talking. This is my second year. This is it's, crazy. It's, yeah, exactly. So what were you doing before? I was a chemist and, in my whole career. And now you're teaching? And yes, and these were some of my very first victims, a student yeah. last year. Uh, I'll tell you what. They're kicking you. They, they kicked your butt in pop quiz, so clearly you did a good job. All right, guys, we're getting right back into the game. Let's go to study hall. I like that. They're my first victims. All right, here's how the games will work. Each team will select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players are going to have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm going to ask three questions about that photo one at a time. You're going to have five seconds to write down your answers. You get it right, 10 points when you reveal. If you get it wrong, no points awarded. So look across the way, guys, and make your pick. Who do you want to send in the study hall? Teachers? We're sending Ryan. Ryan no, and but Ryan, before you go, who are you facing? <laughs> Mrs. Bose. Oh. Let's go, Ryan, Mrs. Bose. They're both smiling. We're going into study hall. Let's do it. No. <laughs> All right. Clearly, there's a little built up tension here, and I love it. Guys, you have 10 seconds on the clock to study that photo right there. Hey, if you're at home, play along. Good luck. I don't know if you guys noticed me in the front row there, but we're gonna take that picture down as we go forward. Here we go, guys, question one, good luck. What name is written on the back of the blue mascot on the left side of the screen? Both contestants writing fiercely right now. Let's reveal your answers. We have Hartman and Donor Dak. That's a fun name, huh? <laughs> Ryan, all right, let's reveal that answer. Hartman is right, Donor Da, not correct. Were, were you finishing a word there? I was going to write Donor Dash. Donor Dash, okay, that would have been a good guess, but still wrong, Ryan. Okay, here we go, question two, guys. On the sign, 10K, 5K, and 3K are all written in what color? Good luck. Both sides scribbling away again, different answers, reveal them. Ryan says white. Miss Bose says blue, the correct answer. Green, oh. you guys, you guys split the difference. You kind of get green there. All right, moving on to question number three. Let's see if we can get the shutout here. We don't need that, all right? We need some points for you, let's do it. Well, the name of this event is the donor what? Both sides writing, reveal your answers. Miss Bose says dash, Ryan says dash. Are they both correct? They are the donor dash. 80 points for the students, 60 points for our teachers. They are slowly creeping up after a blowout and pop quiz. Whose game is this? It's up in the air. We're not done yet. Start your vocal exercises. Music class is next. Then it's the final exam. We'll see you guys right after the break. That away. Way to break the ice there. Good job, Miss Bose. in the classroom today students and teachers from Bonner and Prendy in Delaware County you guys you see your friends up there how cool is this it's amazing yeah. are they doing what do you think can they win this thing yeah, yeah. definitely they're right. 20 points ahead we got to take down Dr. Exactly. St. Clair all right okay we are <laughs> we picked out who we want to I got to talk to you about this guy he is scaring me it looks like he got shot in the eye with a lemon before this commercial <laughs> what's going on with this guy this is this is my friend Fryer here. The Fryer, he gets you guys pumped up? Every basketball game, jumping all around. One wink at a time, baby. All right, guys, let's go. We're going to music class. Let's play.
we're gonna say is we're gonna do the, do the, that's it, you can just do that. Do the fryer, everybody, it's one eye. All right, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I can't wait for this one. I'm gonna ask a question related to a popular song. Then my friend, Mike Jarrett from Fox 29's Good Day Philly, will read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in, correctly answer my question, is gonna win 10 points for their team. But if you buzz in and you get it incorrect, your side's locked out, the other side can jump in and steal those points right from under you. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here we go. What performer sings these lyrics in his 2010 hit song? Mike Jarek, everyone. All righty, here's your first one. Yeah, baby. Tonight the DJ got us falling in love again. Love again. So dance, dance like it's the last, last night of your Life, life. <laughs> Fantastic, Mike. Ryan, first one in. Usher. Usher, DJ yeah. got us falling in love. Yeah. Miss Bose, I have never heard someone on the high go, oh. <laughs> you had that one, you just didn't get it in time? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't right there. All right, well, we listen, <laughs> back in the day, that's club song right there. I got, I got you. Question two, guys, good luck. What singer, songwriter, co-wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2015 Hit song, throwback. All right, here's your next one. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Claire, first one on the buzzer. Rachel Platten. Rachel Platten, fight song. Gonna get you another 10. <laughs> Students, first one to the 100 point mark and this game rolls on. By the way, just in case you were wondering, Miss Bose knew that one too. <laughs> She gave me another, oh, <laughs> as she missed that buzzer. Can we please plug yeah, her buzzer in, someone? <laughs> All right, guys, question three. What band sings these lyrics in a 2014 song? Last one, Mike. Make it your best one. Last one. Some legends are told. Some turn to dust or to gold. But you will remember me, mm, remember me for centuries. <laughs> Last one on the mix here, Poochie, what'd you say? Fallout Boy. Fallout Boy is correct. <laughs> Nicely done. Ryan, Claire, and Pooja all get one in that round. That is a team effort. Speaking of team effort, thanks, Mike, for that performance. As always, scores stand. Students, 110. Teachers, 60. But. Both teams still have a chance to win this thing. 300 points still left in the final exam. Here's what it always comes down to. That's right, that topic. It is so important, and this one, love is in the air. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. You guys are gonna to work together during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. Here are your questions. Number one, final exam. What is the four letter Spanish noun that means the romantic kind of love? Question two, love is in the air. What is the name of Elle's love interest in the Netflix movie, The Kissing Booth? Finally, here you go guys, last one. Still worth 100 points. Who is the Greek goddess of love and beauty? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer, come up with their answers. They look nervous, yeah, they should be. Only 40 points separates a win from a loss. When we come back, we're gonna figure out who's gonna rank first right here in the classroom. But first, friends, they are here today. I'm calling on you to be here tomorrow. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Ooh, got the dance moves flying today. Welcome back into the classroom. Now, today we have the students and teachers from Bonner and Freddie going head to head. The scores, students in the lead, 110. Teachers, 60, but you're right on their heels and you're feeling confident about it because someone's winning this thing today. Now, before we broke, we found out the final exam topic is that love is in the air. I asked three questions. Let's see how you guys did. Remember, 300 points up for grabs. Someone's walking out here with an A on this final exam. 
What is the four letter Spanish noun that means the romantic kind of love? We're gonna start with the teachers. We're behind Dr. St. Clair. You look like a guy that loves love. <laughs> Let's see what you said. Amor. Amor, right back at you, pal. It's gonna get you 100. Okay. Pooja, you said? Amor. Amor is right. They fire right back. 210 for the students. Teachers, 160. Let's see how you do here. Teachers, what is the name of Elle's love interest in the Netflix movie, The Kissing Booth? Bricky. With a smiley face. I love that you thought maybe the smiley face, you're like, maybe he'll give it to me. That doesn't get you any points. You guys stay at 160. Miss Bose, this could be a big deal for you because if the students get this correct, this game is absolutely over. Now, Claire, before you could show us your answer, $500 is on the line. Let's see how you do. What is the name of Elle's love interest? You said? Noah. Noah. Well, that could be worth $500 and bragging rights. Is it Noah? Yes, that's exactly right. Students, win the game. Come on out here. How about this? Who is the Greek goddess of love and beauty? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's Aphrodite. Both sides had it right. Thanks for being here in the classroom. We'll see you next time. Great game. Who knew, who knew the Netflix movie? That was yours? You're like, guys, I know it. I love it. Great game, guys. Congratulations.